So I friend, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Info Vessel in Educational Video. Here I am going to discuss about the Manipal entrance exam that is MET 2024. This is a very urgent and complete informative video. Here I will be talking about marks versus percentile, what's its rank versus branch. Everything you will able to know so that you can target your preparation and you will able to know what is the safe first score for this examination to get the best branch in the Manipal campus. So here the complete information is that is marks versus percentile versus rank because there is two attempt like J main so there will be a percentile after first attempt. After second attempt also there will be a percentile but best of the two will be considered for the ranking system. So what will be the rank based on your percentile you can check here after the second attempt. So for 99 percentile your marks should be 185 plus out of 240 marks. I have already informed about the exam pattern, difficulty level, everything. If you want, you can check in the i button as well. In that description box, you will get the link of the video. So rank will be around 500 if you get 99 percentile. For 98, rank will be 1.1000 and marks requirement is 165. And for 97, 150 plus marks and uh, rank will be around 1.6000. For 96, 135 marks and rank will be 2.1000. For 95, 118 marks is required and rank will be around 2.7 thousand. For 93, 105 marks is required and rank will be around 3.7 thousand. For 90 percentile, 96 plus marks is required and rank will be around 5.2 thousand. For 87, 90 plus marks is required and rank will be around 6.7 thousand. For 85, your marks should be 85 plus and rank will be 7.7 thousand. So here I would like to inform you about my complete mentorship and guidance program about the Manipal in the next section of the video you will be able to check the detail so first of all I will provide you the complete roadmap how you need to go on your preparation on a daily basis what you need to study because it is totally different from G means examination and once you get the best result in the first attempt we will try for more better result in the second attempt and after that we will go for the counseling process that is very important whether to go with the Manipal college or not I will guide you for the other college also if you want but once you register for my guidance it is 100% sure that you will join the best possible college and branch across India I will guide you completely starting from now until your admission is done I will provide you the complete study material on a chapter wise what you need to study what are the question test series everything i will provide you so that you will be comfortable regarding the examination to get the detail now let's continue this video that is for 83 80 plus marks is required and rank will be around 8.8 thousand for 80 percentile 76 plus marks is required and rank will be around 10.4 thousand for 75 70 marks is required and rank will be around 12.7 thousand for 70 65 marks is required rank 14 thousand for 65 60 marks is required and rank will be around 17,000. For 60 uh, percentile, rank will be around 19,000 and marks is 55 plus. And for 50 percentile, rank will be around 24,000 and marks requirement is 45. These all marks are out of 240. That is the total marks of the examination. Now if you talk about for 40 percentile, 35 plus marks is required and 28,000 will be the rank. For 30, 22 plus marks is required and rank will be around 36,000. Up to this rank also you can get the college below this also because some of the brands are less demandable. That's why I'm considering up to this low rank. Now if you talk about the cutoff, so let's talk about the main campus cutoff first that is Manipal main campus. Thereafter I will talk about Bangalore and Jaipur campus also that is MUC. So for CS in main campus around 1.9 thousand you need to have the rank to get the CS up to the last round. For AIML 2.8 thousand. For data science 6.5 thousand. For IT 5.4 thousand. For computer and communication engineering 7 thousand. For financial technology 4.5 thousand. For mathematics and computing 7.4 thousand. For EC 10 thousand. For cyber physical system 26 thousand. For EEE 24 thousand. Uh, for EIE 37,000 and for mechanical or mechatronics 52 and 46,000 respectively. For aeronautical or biotechnology 34 and 35 respectively. And for automobile, biomedical, chem chemical, civil, industrial products and engineering you can get up to 50,000 rank also. Now if we talk about Bangalore campus here is the information for CSE 10,000, CSE AI 13,000, for data science 20,000, EC 30,000, electronics and computer engineering 32,000, IT 23,000 and for cyber security 20,000 is the rank that is the cutoff rank up to the last round you need to do the counseling very carefully for that I will be guiding you as I have informed you at the start of this video to the uh, different section of the video that is how I will guide you for the mentorship and guidance program you can join also by checking the description box for the contact detail now if you talk about for MUZ that is Manipal University of Jaipur Jaipur campus CSE 20,000 CSEI 27,000 and remaining all the branch you can get up to 50,000 or more than that also so nothing to worry you can get up to any rank 
because these are less demandable so hope you get my point very clearly all the detail of this video are very informative for all the students so please try to subscribe this channel and share this video as much as possible so that other students can also get the information thank you